Hello and welcome to episode 17, I think, of Fallout Force on Survival Difficulty. This episode we're going to go to Diamond C, which is strange. I'm sorry if I sound a lot more tired than normal. I haven't really slept yet, and it's late or early. My sleeping pattern is completely obliterated. But anyway, last, last episode I think we took out people with the sniper rifle, which was fun as hell. I loved that. It was like a Hitman game. It was great. Um... I did record this earlier, but it didn't record, <laughs> which was wonderful, I loved it. My favourite time ever. I am going to record, um, Jesus, there's a lot of shooting going on. Damn. I need to chill out, jeez. So what? Stop. So yeah, this is probably going to be a more chill episode than normal. That is a lot of shooting, jeez. Oh, there's a hound. Take him out. I just want to get a shot off, honestly, if I can get a shot off on both. Did I hit that one? I didn't. He didn't get the XP, great. Oh, he's going to die, I'm presuming. I'm going to shoot this guy. I'm going to use this one just because it has more ammo, I think. Let's just launch a grenade at him. Get a scrub. I missed, awesome. My favourite. This weapon is ass. It's so bad. Oh god, that would have sucked. Are they dead? Hello? Oh, these are good. I'm gonna grab that. We're gonna be rocking the Diamond City armor. That's pretty, that's pretty neat. Is he dead? Hello? I don't even see him. Just launch a grenade up there. Did I get him? I presume I got him. Um, pipe rifle, is that good? No, it's not. I'm gonna just grab this, you know. I would like to wear all this stuff. 10, 10, 10. Oh, that's 15. Um, man. I'm glad this guy died. Which is probably not a good thing to say, but he has just made my life ten, ta ten times easier. My guy looks jacked. Damn. That's pretty, that's pretty cool though. So now we're armoured up, which is decent. That didn't happen last time. I guess it, it was fate. Fate made me lose that episode. But yeah, I think Piper's up here. We get to meet Piper for the first time. Hey buddy. Wait, do I look like that? Is there a way of looking? Oh, I look, I look mean. I look a mean machine. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. We're gonna get in. Don't worry. What? I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, doing a bad doing job. Your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out. Is that it? Oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <laughs> Sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. A tizzy? Um, you open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> open this gate right now. The expressions are really good, actually. I didn't think they would be. In this game, I don't know why. Could yeah. you want into Diamond City, right? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Here, but yeah. Shh. I look like I'm about to play hockey. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy. You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month. <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, alright. It's not like he can see him, so why is she looking behind him, like, making hand gestures towards me? Better head inside quick before I don't understand. Sure thing. I'm glad I found that armor, let's go. Good. Let's go. Another great day in Diamond City. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Man. I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. 
I like this, <laughs> zooming in on the pole. <laughs> oh, hi. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Was the camera attached to Piper then? Ooh, yeah. Statement, Mr. McDonough. Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? Do you support the news? Because the mayor's threatening yeah, mayor. free speech in the dumpster. Always yeah, I support the news. The press is one of the foundations of a free society. Oh, I didn't yeah, you tell him, Preston. This argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like diamond bitty material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muck right yeah. here tell you otherwise, all right? Um, I'm sounds sure great. Great place. <laughs> yeah, greatest house of cards in the Commonwealth. Until the wind blows. <laughs> now, <laughs> was there anything particular you came to our city for? Yeah, I'm missing person, bro. Trying to find someone? Who? Um, my, my son. son. Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Okay, who? And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for. Oh, anymore. great! Thanks. I'm Thank you, bro. Busy man. Awesome. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates any cases? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> <laughs> mm, big diamond city welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Uh, Look, I gotta go get settled in, but um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Sure thing. Let's go into the diamond city finally. 17 episodes in. Finally getting the main mission done. Is it raining in here? Sounds like it. It is indeed. Um, well, we are gonna set this one as our main mission. I think I just follow Piper in that one now. Yeah, it makes no sense to go in there without her being there. So we're gonna just take a stroll for a second, see what's around. I think. Because I haven't really explored this place before. So I'm not really familiar with it. I'm sure we'll get there soon. This just seems emptiness. Awesome. What's this place? Explore the combat zone. What? Who are you? Oh, wow. you're tall. I think you're just small. What? How am I over here now? Hello? What is going on? She moves around way too much. That motor is going to go for it if you don't be patient. Yeah, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. So why me so much? I gotta head into the office. You need to start whistling if you see any angry poetry kids coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Paper. Just <laughs> <laughs> left you hanging, I guess. Newcomer. I know what explore the go. Okay. I'm just gonna go speak to Piper. Anyone See Abba at the wall. What is this mission? Hello? What? Wow. Okay, I will do them. I didn't even know that was a thing. We'll speak to Piper first then. Get uh, the free XP from this. Hello. Blue. Cause you're a vault dweller? 
I know you're not wearing your blue jumpsuit right now, but the Pip Boy and that fish out of water look dead giveaways. So here's the deal. All right. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. And watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. Okay, sure. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? <laughs> As a cubicle? I didn't spend a cubicle? An ice cube? They, they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yeah, man. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> God damn. Life. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Well, it looks like ass, but it gives me hope. Surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now I already know you're looking for. Oh, Preston, like that. Sean, do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? Um, uh, they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. And people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Um, take it one day at a time. Just keep going. That's all anyone can do. We're all just doing what we have to, huh? I think my readers can relate to that. That's everything. It's going to take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is going to give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Look, about your son. Awesome. I didn't know if you were on the up and up before. Didn't want to waste my friend's time, but I think he can help you. His name's Nick Valentine. Detective extraordinaire. Oh. Got an office here in Diamond City. Just look for the neon sign with the heart in it. Thanks, Piper. I'll go talk to him, I guess. To him. He'll like you. He's got a soft spot for the hard luck cases. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to hear where this story goes next. Oh, uh, yeah, I've got Preston at the minute, so I'm going to leave you there. Um, let's go see, oh, Don't move, sir. What have you done with the real hello, Where's my sir, could you, could you oh, drop the weapon? Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family. Put the gun down now. Can I prevent this? He'll kill us all. Oh my God. No. Okay, show's over. There are no synths in Diamond City, hear me? You folks in your damn paranoia. Well, he got completely screwed up. I'm not going to take his stuff. I don't know if I'll get, like, pursued for it. And I, I refuse to be um, pursued for it. Um, Freedom Trail? I, what? Why is this a thing? Where is he? This is the one I want to do real quick. I'll speak to Mr. Valentine, and then we're in the episode. In the next episode, we will actually do the mission. Something more. Oh. Another spray. You're not Nick. Afraid you're too late. No. Office is closed. But it's important. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... He's gone missing. No, I can help. Don't worry. I can help. Tell me what happened. <sighs> Nick was working a case... Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Um, I'm just going to offer my help. I'll find him. You have my word. I'm sure I'll get money out of it anyway. It should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat get up. Please, hurry. Okay. 
Well, yeah, I will end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in another video. <gasps> Goodbye. Now I just